I'm gonna try to do some of the side quests. What's this one? Who's the loaf? Wait, wait, let's not do that one. I want to do this one. I haven't been in touch with these bastards for a while. <laughs> I want to know what the fuck is going on here. I haven't been with them after... After the destroying the first crystal, damn it. How long have I not been here? The crystals we get from the tail are all but worthless. Hey, what's going on? How you been? Ah, Clive. Your timing is exquisite as always. I have a concern which you may be able to assist me with. Go on. There are whisperings afoot of shadowy figures having been sighted outside the village. Rustlings in the undergrowth, suspicious noises. My people fear that they are being watched. It may be no more than a surfeit of nerves, understandable in the current climate, or it may be the prelude to something altogether more dangerous. Given what I hope you'll forgive me calling your nose for trouble, I wondered if you might investigate. Of course. Excellent. You might begin by speaking with the good citizens of Lostwing. Listen to their tales, and make what you will of them. All right. I will. Right. Let's see what the people of the village have to say. I'd better find out if this is just nerves, or something we need to take more seriously. It's goblins. It has to be goblins. They're the only threat in this fucking woods. We have to say what you saw. You are right, Sid? Something on your mind? There is actually. Can I ask you something? Quentin tells me people have mentioned shadowy figures out in the woods. Have you noticed anything unusual? Oh, that. No, sorry, can't help you. I heard the rumors, mind, from the lads working over at the vineyard, but none of them has seen anything either. All right. Thanks anyway. Is either goblins or these people are just high? They must have took something while they were on the job. You're quite talented with that rod of yours. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you have a moment? There's talk of suspicious figures in the woods. Have you seen anything out of the ordinary? No, but I've heard something. Sound of scraping metal, like someone sharpening a sword. Where was this? In Lorbert's Pass. Was out foraging for herbs when I heard it, screeching out from between the trees. Ran back here as quick as my legs would carry me, and I ain't been back since. I see. I'll look into it. Thank you. Oh, okay. Seems Lorbert's Pass is our best bet then. What do you say, Togo? Shall we go and investigate? Boy, are you not gonna bark at me? I just talked to you. You're supposed to respond. No, we're that close. Oh, I thought it was something. <laughs> yeah, no. Fuck, why the fuck I can't go over there? It has to be goblins. What's in here? You there. Fuck! He's seen us. Get them before they escape! Black Shields. Here. Okay, th these are the least suspected the people I know. Here? What is it to you? Not that we give a damn. All that matters to us is that you don't leave here alive. Why the fuck is the Black Shield here? Is it because Akuka destroyed uh, the, the kingdom of Rosalind? Or uh, Rosaria? Fucking okay, bastards. They try to make a new home here. What? 
Holy shit! Are they going to harm me here? Just fucking die! Here we go. Can I just get one? Fuck. So far away from home, holy shit. Why were they here? Were they planning an attack on Lost Wing? I need to warn Quentin. This Quentin knows that we're here? He better not have. Fuck. It's a good thing that the lady ran away, fuck. At first, I thought they were goblins. I never expected the fucking black shield gonna be here. Fuck. They're like spreading out. They're spreading out to find more uh, bearers to kill. Holy shit. Clive, how goes the hunt for our sinister figures? I found some black shields hiding near Lorbert's Pass. They're gone now. Black Shields, the Empress's former bloodhounds, though they serve another master now. One who means to root out and destroy both me and those I care for. And it would appear the pack has finally caught the scent of its prey. Damn it all. I had hoped I would have more time than this. More time to prepare. But if we are cornered, we have no choice but to bite back. And bite back we shall. I'm sorry. You're going to need to explain. Who did the Black Shield serve now? And why would that person want you dead? Because I want him dead. Who? The former Lord Chief Justice of San Brack. All that I have built here is for him. I don't understand. Why him? Why Lostwing? <sighs> I suppose it is better that you know the truth. I was a member of the judiciary once. So sickened was I by the injustice of this world, I swore to fight it, and fight it I did in my own small way. I saw more than a few corrupt officials condemned to the very cells into which they had thrown blameless innocence, men to whom the law was but a scourge to turn against the powerless. And throughout, it was the Lord Chief Justice who backed me, who was my one true ally in the quest to see justice done. So what changed? I discovered that he hunted bearers for sport. I was a fool to think he shared my hatred of venality and vice. His support for me was no more than a facade, a means of ridding himself of his rivals, a mask to hide the rot beneath. I filed suit against him immediately. His response, however, was rather more visceral. He had my entire family slaughtered, and he faced no punishment whatsoever. I lost everything. My loved ones, my livelihood, my position, the faith I had once held that any modicum of justice might be achieved through the courts. So I set about enacting my own. I tracked down every soul who served him and slit their throats myself. But the man himself proved an altogether more difficult target. With money and power come protection. And so I saw that I would need an army of my own. 
I came here to Lostwing and began recruiting like-minded individuals. And everyone here knows this is why you do what you do. Of course. They too have lost loved ones to the bearer hunts. Seen faultless friends sent to the gallows to spare the guilty. All under the watchful eye of the Lord Chief Justice. Our wounds are the same. And our cause is the same. We are comrades. And our revenge is already in motion. We know where he hides, how numerous and well-trained his guard. What we did not know until now, however, was that his plans may already be in motion too. Quinton. Our time is short. He may move against us at any moment, unless we move against him first. My friends and comrades, it begins. Make ready for war. Oh shit. Okay, I... I... <laughs> Why the fuck is... Everything's revenge. <laughs> Clive wants revenge. Jill wants revenge. He wants revenge. Kupka wants revenge. Holy fuck! Everything's about revenge in this game. I'm not going to change his mind. Holy shit. That his lordship's vultures should be found circling the village can mean only one thing. That he means to strike at us before we can strike at him. There is no time to lose. The final stage of our plan must be put into motion. Am I going to help him out? Is there any side quests here? Uh, wait, what's that? Oh. Fuck. God damn. I get it, I... He wants revenge because of his family, but... Shit. <laughs> they're, they're going to war now. Uh, oh, there you are. Wanna find the, the most fragrant herbs. What's wrong with you? Why am I helping P the baker? Why is he so important? I have to help him. Gone, just like that. And without so much as a buy your leave. What's the matter? Uh, oh, it, it's my apprentice. He up and vanished while my back was turned. I'd go and look for him myself. But I've got a bakery to run. A bakery that's now short, one pair of hands. Loath though I am to rely on the kindness of strangers, I'm at a loss. Please, will you see if you can find him? I'll see what I can do. Do you know where he might have gone? Ah, I wouldn't be surprised if he was off somewhere mooning at Drake's Fang. He used to work there, you see. Poor fool left his heart in its hollow. All right, then that's where I'll start. Wait, he used to work at Drake's Bang? Is he like... His stuff that would destroy it? They used to work there. Wait, who the hell is this? Oh shit, this is my target! Oh shit, level A! Fuck! I didn't even need to find him. Fuck! He was, he was just there in the middle. My blade yet hungers and sleep in my Come. Let us feast on your flesh. It's a level 38! Your feasting days are over. Fuck! Yeah. Holy shit! Good. 
Yeah, I can just leave. Yeah, I'm leaving, bitch. Fuck. I had to get stronger. I'm a 33, he's a level 38. Fuck. Wait, where the fuck could he be? Is he dead? He's somewhere around here. Is he? Or is he like over here? Oh. Excuse me. What do you want? The baker sent me to find you. I am a sorry, selfish sod, aren't I? I'm certainly not a baker. Master must rue the day he took me in. Time was the sight of the fang used to calm my nerves. But now look at her. I take it you miss the Mother Crystal. Well, I hated her, but she was all I knew. Worked her minds for years. And when she shattered, part of me shattered with her. I had to trade my pickaxe for a rolling pin, but I'm no good at baking. Every loaf I touch collapses. My bread's as hollow as I am. She was the only thing that could fill the hole inside me. Oh, I loved her, damn it. But now she's gone. She's never coming back. What am I supposed to do? I ask her. How does a shell of a man learn to live again? Fuck. Remember the good times. Uh, uh, <laughs> focus on your work. Just this one. I think it's the right one. I, I don't know. I'm not good with this shit of giving advice to someone. Try to remember the good times. Do that, and the Mother Crystal will be with you no matter where you are. Even in the bakery? What a fool I've been. Thank you, my friend, thank you. You've opened my eyes. I have to get back there right away. Farewell. Wait. Suppose you be needing an escort then. So it was that fast? Okay. I thought it was gonna be like, I don't know, like, like he's gonna disapprove or something. But fuck. He took my advice really seriously. Is he back? The finest fabric. The most fragrant herbs and spices from the bread. Yeah, he's back. Twins. Ah, there you are. The man who lit a fire under my wayward apprentice. <laughs> Though I worry you might have stoked the flames a little too high. He damn near ran me down trying to get to my oven. Master, it's ready. Behold the Drake's Balm. A truly unique creation. I dare say it is. <laughs> Just look at it. A perfect likeness of the Fang herself. Her steeple peaks, her fulsome spurs, her inviting hollow. True, my loaves collapse more often than not, but what's the Fang without her crater? Why, no Fang at all. And look, inside, she's filled to bursting with a bounty of beautiful crystals. Salt! Crystals! Master, I have found my purpose. I must use my work here to preserve the memory of the Fang. Uh, well, if it tastes half as unique as it looks, I'd certainly say you're on to something. <laughs> uh, not only is my apprentice back, but he's finally pulling his weight with any luck. I might even have a new delicacy on my hands. I don't know how you did it, but you have my thanks. You know, I'm getting all this soft fucking side quests and it gives me a choice. Will any of my choices make a difference?
I totally remember about the fang. But he started making a bread that looks like a fang. Will he be another bread? If I told him that, that focus on your work, all that? 